What is a leader? In a world of where social networks and society's norms make it acceptable to be a follower, this may be a question that is hard to decipher. I've learned as a leader, I've learned that a leader is someone who has valid ideas and opinions and stands by them with confidence. A leader is someone who can not only oversee a project or a group of people, but also be given direction to be a better leader and a more efficient leader. That's the type of leader I consider myself to be. I see myself as a natural born leader because of the fact that I'm the oldest child of two brothers and three sisters in total. I've always loved the pressure of being a big sister and a role model. I've learned always to find, I've all, I've always found it my duty to carry myself respectively, especially for the sake of my younger sisters. Being the leader of my siblings at home, always having to referee my siblings and be that voice of reason when my parents were not around has reflected in my life. When I was in elementary school, I was never shy, always volunteering to pass out papers and be the leader. Growing up in a big family has led me to be an outspoken person. I've never been afraid to waste my opinions, which I think is a quality trait in a good leader. I've always had the eagerness to learn and ask questions and what's a leader without knowledge and growth. Over the years, I've had many leadership roles outside of my family in the classroom, such as being an event captain, a lifeguard, and a camp counselor. But the highest, but the biggest has come from the the sports management athletic training roles that I've played since high school. During high school, I was a basketball manager and soccer manager and athletic trainer. At the time, I was just doing to occupy my time, but it has really helped me to grow as a person. Carrying this sports, man sports management position to college, I've used my previous people skills and eagerness to learn to work my way up. My freshman and sophomore year, I shouted the head manager and a red operations to put myself in the head manager role today. In order to be a great leader, you must first be led. I wouldn't say that I have a specific leadership style, but that I but that I adjust accordingly rather. When dealing with my siblings, I tend to take the autocratic approach. I'm older and a little and I know a little more than them, so it's an understanding that what I say goes. When working with the other managers and players, it's more of a laissez fair approach. I made I made a point I made a point to form a friendship and get to know them. Always welcome to hear opinions and ideas on how things may be made easier. It's all about working as a team. Most of the things I do as a manager require me to work with one or two other people. So so it's important that I get the job done, but everyone has a voice and a part in the ultimate goal. In conclusion, I hope to continue to learn so that I can grow as a leader and set a good example.